Good morning guys, welcome back to another video over here on the Chinese Zodiac and Horoscopes. This morning we're going to be doing a video and reading for all those born in the year of the tiger. So if you know anybody or you are born in the year of the tiger, this video is for you. We'll also be doing a rabbit reading today, so uh, stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe button, give us a like and leave a comment. Let's see how you tigers are doing this week, shall we? Let's just shuffle these up and see what we've got, shall we? Let's see. Let's stop it there. Let's go one from the bottom, one from the middle, one from the top. What have we got? White, black, white. There we go. Not bad. That's not a bad setup, really. We've got that rat straight there. There we go. Okay. So you've been busy, busy, busy. You're a busy, busy bee, a busy tiger. You can get stuff done. Yeah. Though it's not stuff that you're really enthusiastic about, is it? Chores and jobs. Chores and jobs. You don't care too much for the things you've got to get done at the moment, but you're doing them. You've got to get them done. They're jobs on the list and they need to be crossed off, even though you're not necessarily enjoying it. Though the company might be good. You're enjoying the company. You're enjoying the, the social aspect of it. Not necessarily the work side of it. However, that work needs to be done, company or otherwise. So you have basically dedicated yourself there to that goal, to that achieving the, the things that you want to uh, cross off that list, basically. Yeah. Feeling rather good about it, but at the same time indifferent because you're not really... You're not really... Uh, in, it's not something that you're passionate about. It's not something you really enjoy. You're not having fun. You just, yeah, you're just crossing things off the the to do list, basically. Yeah, I think uh, I think realistically, this uh, this phase, if you like, that you are in right now is just one of getting stuff done, just working hard, crossing things off that to do list, making. Uh, Making some sort of forward progress while you can. You're making hay while the sun shines. And you're not a big fan of making hay. But someone's got to do it. And there you are, bailing it up, bailing it up. So you have been a busy, busy tiger. A very busy tiger. Now, the rat and the tiger aren't necessarily the greatest of friends. So that's why I think that potentially you're not... You're not really feeling it. But... You're getting it done. You're making it happen. You're achieving things. You're crossing things off the list. And that's important to you, isn't it? It's important for you to, uh, to be seen getting these things done. You are a committed individual. You have a level in, of integrity that you're proud of. You want people to see that you are there for them. You want people to see that you are there at the job, at the job in hand. You're hands on. You're getting it done. You're not turning up late, you're on time, and you want people to see this, appreciate it, and respect it. However, right now, you're stuck. <laughs> you're stuck where you're at. You're not moving very quickly. You're not moving in a, in a very progressive way. Potentially one of these jobs, a couple of these jobs have proven harder than you expected. You, uh, you don't want to necessarily be where you are right now, as I say. It's not something that you're enjoying. You're just trying to go with it, get it done, finish it off as quickly as possible and as, uh, and as you know, uh, thoroughly as possible. You're not rushing it to get it done where mistakes are made. You're still taking your time. You're still being that kind of perfectionist and, and having that attention to detail. Yeah, I think realistically you've, uh, you've, hit, a, you've hit a roadblock, a bit of a roadblock. Something has uh, presented itself which was a little bit more difficult than it should have been. And now, you've had to take extra time and effort to do it. But you don't take defeat well, and you're not going to give up here, are you? This is the thing. You're not going to give up. You're not accepting second prize for this. You are going for gold. And that ox there being black is really kind of uh, giving you something to think about. Really giving you something to think about. I think, uh, I think there's this, maybe not so much a misunderstanding, but just a little bit of confusion about what actually is happening here. It's going to be very easy for you to lose your temper in the next couple of days. Yeah, you've got a strong will. And uh, that strong kind of... 
that kind of strong desire to prove your point. And that's what that ox is. They're stubborn. Stubborn and... And basically not backing down. You are not backing down here, are you? You are going to be... Uh, you're going to be here until the job is done. And if you... Uh, and if you do get stuck, you're going to have to figure out a way to overcome that problem too. And that ox is basically getting you there in a real slow down kind of way. Yeah, things aren't happening as quickly as you thought they were. Things wouldn't work as well as they as you wanted them to. Things aren't as, you know, easy as you anticipated. You seem to uh, be hitting a couple of dead ends, a problem reveals another problem which then reveals another problem a job leads to another job leads to another job another one and another one every time you think that you've overcome something something else happens it's like a little it's like a little circle of problems and jobs right now and you're getting it done you're very uh you're very um you're very adapt at doing that you're very uh you're made for it you're made for it you're made to concentrate on it you're made to get that done if anybody can do it it's going to be you as a tiger person if anybody's going to get this done it's going to be you but i think that's the problem here as we said last week people pleasing can be a real problem for you tiger people and potentially this isn't even a job or or things that you even benefit from you're doing this for other people you're doing this as a sense of uh you know your humanity and 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 wanting to help others and you're basically doing this as part of your own your own personality, because you want to be there for people, you care about people, you're you're sympathetic to these people. Unfortunately, the job at hand has proven a little bit more difficult than you anticipated, and now you are flagging. You're running out of energy, you're running out of enthusiasm, if you had any enthusiasm to begin with. And here we are, with that black ox. But, things are looking good. Kind of, in a in a roundabout way, that pig is very compatible with the tiger, very compatible. However, unlike the slow moving ox, the boar doesn't move. <laughs> the boar doesn't move. So you are stuck, but I think this has given you the opportunity to recover, kind of heal. You're having a break. You're having a break. This new job of yours or this new task at hand has taken you away from the normal mundane life of which you usually live or taken you away from what you would usually been doing. So you are doing something different. And that boar is very compatible with the tiger. They're on the soulmate lines. So they're soulmates, the pig and the boar, uh, the boar and the tiger. So it's not all bad for you. And that pig is white. So that's a positive as well. If you'd like to know more about the soulmate lines, then do hit that subscribe button because we will be doing videos about this in the future. Soulmate lines, compatibility triangles, um, conflict lines, the different personalities and all of this, the catalyst cards, the karmic cards, everything. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to know more. That boar is a good match for you, Mr. and Mrs. Tiger. Yeah, tiger people and boar people get on incredibly well. And I think you're going to overcome some stuff here and you're going to have a sense of accomplishment and achievement and other people are going to respect and appreciate you more because of this. You are going to be uh, building bridges and and making good connections with people while you uh, tackle this task at hand, while you do this job. So this is actually quite a good thing. This is actually quite a good thing. This is going to uh, encourage security in other people's company yeah it's getting you out the house it's keeping you busy it's something you don't usually do very often so although it is a challenge and it's harder than you anticipated you're actually enjoying it in in that kind of way of you get to tinker you get to learn you get to show off and and be that tiger that you are yeah you just need to watch your temper watch your patience you're gonna you're gonna get this done and I think with your, you know, with your ideas, with what you think is right, with the way you do things, with the way you tackle things, it's going to get done more so than if anybody else was doing it. You are the person for the job. That's why you're here. That's why you're there doing it. Nobody's going to be able to do this more so than you. 
And you've got the wholehearted support of people around you because they really do rely on you right now. And although people pleasing is not necessarily a great thing, people are pleased with you. So you've got that to stroke your ego a little bit. Even if they don't express it in uh, ways that are so obvious, they are captivated by your skill, by what you're capable of, you know, the things that you can do and they can't do. They appreciate this. They're grateful for it. They are. Yeah. And again, it's not something that you're passionate about. It's not something you enjoy. You just know how to do it. You're, you're just that person that somebody needs, that somebody is, is reaching out for. And you, being that tiger person that you are, you're there helping them, doing what you can. But let's have some self-control here. Let's have some self-control. Take it easy. Don't, don't overdo it here. Making friends or keeping friends is one thing, but when it comes at the cost of yourself, just be careful. Although that pig is white, so I don't see that. I see that the people are very grateful. I see that they appreciate what you're doing. I see that this is a long-term thing where once this job is done, they are going to sing your praises for a very, very long time. They're going to write songs about you. They're going to uh, brag about you to your to their friends. They're going to they're going to tell everybody how they know you. They're going to tell everybody how uh, great you are. Yeah, this is this this hard job, this task at hand that you have, although it is frustrating and it's dragged out, it is going to be worth it in the long run, I think. It's definitely going to be worth it if you can get it done and if those people around you continue to be supportive, which I feel they will. Yeah, you've got a busy week, slow, a slow week. And it's going to be slow. You're going to have some catching up to do because of where you are right now. But I think it's not a bad thing. And all will be revealed as the week goes on. And you start to see, oh, actually, yeah, well, that's quite good. Oh, yeah, no, no, that's happening now. So I, I like that. And things that you enjoy and like are going to start coming into uh, into play as a little reward. And um, you're going to overcome this and you are going to feel better for it. Even if you don't feel great right now because of all these extra jobs or things you don't necessarily want to be doing, you are going to come out and be rewarded from this. So hold on tight. Keep pushing forward. That pig is also a catalyst card there. So there are good changes coming from this. Gratitude, appreciation, respect, more consideration in the future. Yeah, this is... Uh, this is a week of trudging on and basically slowly but surely getting it done. And we'll see how you do next week when we come back and we'll do another tiger reading for all you tiger people next Tuesday. Later on this afternoon, we'll be doing a video for the rabbit people. So if you're born in the year of the rabbit or know anybody that is born in the year of the rabbit, let them know. Hit that subscribe button. Give us a like. Leave us a comment. And I will see you either later or next week with another Tiger Eden. Love and peace.